Welcome to Monetize Your Mind with your host, Bob Baer, creator of the More Power to Publish Monetize Your Mind Workshop. And welcome to Monetize Your Mind. I'm Pat Dewar. We have a great show for tonight with uh, Bob Baer and Michelle Prince. And Bob, I'm so glad you're bringing Michelle on. I know she's one of your secret weapons. Thank you, Pat. I'm, I'm excited about it, Michelle. You have a real story to tell, and I, I want, I'll ask you some questions, but I really want you to share with them how you got to where you're at. When, when I first met you, I knew you as a speaker. Yes. And yes. you obviously love to speak, and you're great at it. You used to work with Zig Ziglar Corporation. I did. In fact, I, I started my journey with Zig very early. My, my parents actually gifted me with a, a, a seminar ticket when I was 18. So I, I fell in love with personal development. I fell in love with you know, inspiring and motivating and helping people. And, and so that launched a, a desire to work for Zig Ziglar. And so in my early 20s, I worked with Zig for about three or four years, and I was in sales for Zig. I was actually helping him to, you know, continue with his career. And, but that passion was always in me to, you know, help other people, to show other people what they can do to live a better life and help other people in the process. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the line, though, you've discovered that you had a passion for helping authors get their books written. Yes, and it's funny how things transpire because it certainly wasn't something I planned. Uh, about five or six years ago, I felt that I had a book inside of me. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I had thought about it for so many years, but it wasn't something I really, I wasn't ready to launch my book, if you will, or, or, or uh, tell my story. And a couple of years ago when I decided to do it, you know, I just wanted to share what I've been through, what the lessons that I learned. And I found that my story is not that different from other people. And I found that when you are just sharing who you are, that's when you can really help the most people. So I told my story, my ups and downs, my journeys. It was called mm -hmm. Winning in Life Now, but it was all about how I used personal development to keep me through the tough times in life. And that launched this passion you know, if I can do it, you can do it. Anyone can do it. So before I knew it, I was helping people to show them, you know, here's how the process. How do you get the book out of your head? How do you know what to write about? And then mm -hmm. how do you go through the whole publishing process? And it just evolved. There's a lot of moving parts, aren't there? There are so many moving parts, yes. I think when people start writing a book, they really have no idea mm -mm. what all's involved. They don't know what they're getting into. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, most of us, we know we have a story, but you know, how do you even get it out of your head? That's actually more difficult than it sounds. And getting it on paper, and then how do you pull it all together and make it sound logical and make it sound, you know, the way you want it to sound, the way you hear it, but that, you know, you want it to read that way. And then going through all the details that you know so much about, uh, it, it's, it's quite a process. And I, I learned through, you know, trial and error, mm -hmm. the first, my first book. Uh, a mutual friend of ours, Howard Berg, yes. in talking about writer's block said uh -huh. that normally a person is used to their mind and their thoughts expressing it through their mouths. And so when they're trying to use their mind and expressing it through their hands, right. they get blocked. It, absolutely, or, or they, they start self-critiquing. You know, they, they write a paragraph and then they look at it and they're oh, that's terrible, throw it away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, and, and so we're, we're more, uh, we criticize ourselves more, I think, when we, when we try to express ourselves and by writing. But, but if you can get past that point and really get it out there without judgment and just let the thoughts and the creativity flow, you can create a masterpiece. Now, you were trained by and worked with Zig Ziglar, and did that period where you were studying self-improvement, mm -hmm. that probably helped you a lot now oh in helping goodness. authors get past their blocks and helping them express themselves. You know, I was so young, I was in my early 20s, and I didn't realize how fortunate I really was at the time. But now looking back, I mean, my foundation of business advice, of, of relationships, of, of working with people, all came from Zig Ziglar and his corporation. So I learned at a really early age, you know, how to um, help other people and really, you know, make a difference. That was what, at the Ziegler Corporation, they always said, you know, being a difference maker. And so it set the stage for me. Now, I went a different direction. I actually, even though working for Zig was my passion, mm -hmm. I was at a point in my life where I wanted to make more money, I wanted to climb that corporate ladder, and I kind of got lured into the, uh, the golden carrot of software and the dot-com boom around that time, and there was a lot of opportunities. So I went in a direction not in my passion, mm -hmm. 
And I stayed there for about 12 years. And what it did for me is it brought me back to the realization that I wasn't doing what I was meant to do. And it was during that time that I felt like, you know what, I have a story to tell and I want to write it. And even if my husband and kids are the only ones that ever read it, that's okay. But I've got to get the story out. Was there a, a pivotal moment? Was there something that happened that, that just made you decide you had to do it? Yeah, you know, it's an interesting thing. It was kind of that gut feeling, but I was traveling full time. I had two young kids and I was, I was just so busy, but not enjoying it. And I had this epiphany moment of, you know, I was, I'm supposed to be helping people and making a difference. And I don't feel like I'm making a difference selling software. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I was to somebody, but not in the way I wanted to. And when I wrote the book, I had no intention, though, of building a business around it. But it, it evolved because I, I, I do believe that my story is it's authentic. It's just who mm -hmm. I am. And what I found is it encourages other people. And truly, if I can do it, somebody else can too. One of the things that we need to make sure is that we, we honor you guys in, in the fact that both of you guys are working together as a publisher and as somebody that can bring books out of folks and really create some destiny. I know you've got the, the book bound.morepower.com on the screen. I hope that you'll take advantage of what they're offering today. This is Monetize Your Mind. I'm Pat Dewar. We'll be back in just a second. you can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com. And welcome back to Monetize Your Mind. This is Pat Dewar. We've got Bob Bear, Michelle Prince in the, in the house, uh, a former Zig Ziglar speaker. And she's helping people get their books kind of out of their heart and onto the, uh, the world, into the world. Bob? Michelle, you were telling us about how you first started writing your first book, mm -hmm. telling your story, which is a great story. What happened that made a switch to you helping other people write their books? Well, once I launched my book and it, it, we, we, we put it out there, it, it actually got a lot of success and it hit bestseller in a couple categories and it just, it launched some exposure for me that I was not seeking, but it just kind mm -hmm. of happened that way. And everywhere I would go, even though I was speaking on personal development and belief, people would, the number one question, or I'd get two questions. Number one, what was it like working for Zig Ziglar? And number two, how do you write a book? I want to write a book. And so I found myself just starting to tell people, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, well, here's what you do, here's what I did, and then more people would ask, and then I'd have phone calls, and, and you know, I'd grab a few of my friends and people who would ask me, get on a call, and I'd walk them through the process. And before I knew it, uh, I had a seminar of about, we started with 12 people, because mm -hmm. I said, you know what, all of this time on the phone is, is taking a bit of much, so let's all come together, and I'll tell you everything I know. And that's what created Bookbound. That's what started it. And it's so, I'm so passionate about it because it's, it's not just about a book, it, although you and I know how important a book is. It's about the message and to see the belief and the shift in people when they know they do have a story. And it's just this chain reaction and I love it. And that's, that's one of the things that's really important, isn't it? In telling people why they need to express themselves, why they need to get their book out, is because it changes them as well as Completely. being a good read. Well, and most people don't think they have a story, or they mm -hmm. think, you know, who, who, who cares what I have to say? You know, or what if nobody reads it? But the truth is, we relate best to other people. And so, if you've been through something, anything, good or bad, and you know somebody's been through it before you, you get inspired when you see what they've done. So whether you've been through even divorce or bankruptcy, things that aren't so positive, you know, by telling your story, somebody else is still going through it. And you might just give them that, that sense of, wow, you know what, she's just like me or he's just like me. And that's what a book can do. And it's more about the message, but, but the beauty of a book is it can reach more people. You and yes. I can talk one-on-one. -on -one. We can talk to a room of people. But if we can get that same message out to thousands of people, by giving them the book, it's that much more powerful. To me, I, I love books and I find yeah. books and getting a great positive message out are very important, but two of the important things that, that you do, one is that 
when someone has a really important message, when you have a passion in your heart that you want to share with people, and you're not great at writing it, not great at getting that communication out, people need help. They, they need someone who can help them, teach them how to express themselves and turn their passion and their, the things that they're excited about into something that'll communicate. That's absolutely right because we all know we have passions, but sometimes it's really hard to articulate, well, what passion can I help people with? You know, I, I like to travel or I like to sing or I like to paint. You know, how is that going to help somebody? But when you, when you combine your passion with your experiences, and experience doesn't have to be work-related. Like I mentioned, mm -hmm. it could be you had experience going through divorce or you have experience in sales or, you know, but when you combine your passion and your experience, that is a story that people want to hear because you can help them. It's also a story you're going to want to write because you'll have the motivation to complete it and you'll have the details to provide a lot of value. The whole publishing industry is changing so oh fast, goodness, yes. so rapidly that things are different every six months and people that wrote a book six months ago there's different strategies for getting their word out and to me it's a real shame when someone writes a book that has a great message and they don't know the best way to get it out there oh and my goodness, you, yes. you help with that too don't you? oh absolutely I mean it's heartbreaking to me when I when I meet people and they say they have a thousand books sitting in their garage and they yeah. don't know what to do with it or they've written a manuscript that they've never done anything with um, so there are ways that you can get it out there, but you're right, it changes so rapidly that if you're not close to someone or people like us who know the industry and mm -hmm. how it's evolving, it's really difficult to, to stay abreast of everything. And, you know, it, it's a fun industry, though, I have to say, and uh, see a lot of great you, things. You have a weekend that you teach people. It's called Bookbound. Yes. It's your program, and we'll be talking about it more a little bit later. But... Is that two days or three days? It's a two-day workshop. We do two full days, and it's designed to begin with the, the process of what is my story and really going through that process of figuring out, you know, what could I tell people? What would help people? What do I want to share about my story? And then we outline that. Uh, we also go through the process of publishing and, and what those different options are. Mm -hmm. And then most importantly, though, we go through the marketing. Because like we said, unless you have a way to get that book in the hands of other people, you can't really help that many. So it's important to focus on the marketing part as well. Okay, well we will talk about that more in a minute. Well, one of the things that I, I do want to encourage people to understand is the value of the two of you. I mean, you guys are a real dynamic duo. You've got the publisher that can make it happen in 25,000 different distribution points, but someone that can actually bring the book out and roll that nine pound pearl from their heart onto the table and then inject that into the DNA of mankind makes all the difference. I know if you have a chance to go to the bookbound dot morepower.com and see what they're br they're bringing to the table. What Michelle is going to be extracting from many of you, hopefully, is the book, the the passion that you so desire, one, one, the, that you want to get that out. This is Monetize Your Mind. We'll be right back. You can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com. Welcome back to Monetize Your Mind. We have a great show going. I think you're really gonna enjoy getting to know Michelle Prince and Bob Bear's combo punch on extracting the book that's in your heart and bringing it to the market. Bob? Michelle, one of the things I want you to share with our audience is what are some of the reasons why a person should write a book? What can it do for them? Other than just simple gratification of knowing that you're helping people, there's actually a lot that can happen by being an author. You can create more credibility. You can differentiate yourself from competition. Um, this is sets you apart. You know, once you are a published author, people look at you different, as you know. They look at you as an expert. And this is probably the easiest way to get yourself out in your business, your niche, and differentiate yourself. As, and that's just telling your story. And the beauty is, it's a story you already know. 
You know, it's mm. already in your head. You just have to get it out in order to monetize it. That's why one of the things I really like to see people do is take a subject that they're passionate about, that they know well, and especially for their first book, to be writing about something that is their area of expertise. Absolutely. And because that comes through, that comes through to the people that read, but it also helps to have someone help them strategize and set up how to put it all together mm -hmm. and how to put it into, into a book. Definitely. I mean, you, it, just like with anything, you need to have, you want a mentor. You want somebody who's done it before. And with anything in life, you could do it the hard way or the easy way. Mm -hmm. uh, you and I both try really hard to make it easy for people to get their stories out. And for many reasons, but we do want to help you, you know, with your business. And we want to help you grow that credibility. But we also want to allow you to help other people. And so that's why you and I do what we do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I... There's something I like, there's a word I really like in business called leverage. Mm. And anytime I can find a way to take something I do or something I'm working on and leverage it to make Absolutely. it more effective and do more, and books are a form of leverage. Can you describe some ways that, that people could use a book to leverage what they're doing in their life or their business and be more effective? You bet. It's huge leverage. I mean, that, that's a great word. For, for an example, you know, if you want to get more exposure for your business, media is a great way to do it. Well, what is the media looking for? They're looking for stories that are relevant, but they're also looking for experts. Who is yeah. an expert? An author. You are an author, or you are an expert because you wrote a book. And so that immediately will get you more exposure. Uh, as a speaker myself, I'm a huge proponent of writing a book to get more speaking opportunities. Now, some people are thinking, well, I don't really want to be a speaker. But think of it this way, if you are in front of a group, whether it be a local networking group, a chamber, you know, you're in front of 20, 30 people, you are now sharing your story and your sales opportunity in front of 20 people instead of just having to go one-on-one, -on -one, you know, breakfast meetings, lunch meetings. So when you're an author, though, that's how you get asked to speak. And if you think about it, most celebrities or experts or speakers are authors, yes. and there is a reason for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a past president of Dallas North Rotary, and so mm -hmm. I've been involved with in the selection committee and selecting programs, and it makes a big difference. If someone just wants to come and talk about a subject, that's, mm -hmm. that's one thing, but if they've written a book about it, and they can be introduced as the author of a particular book, mm -hmm. You get a lot more speaking invitations, yes. opportunities. And it's actually, it's contagious. I mean, honestly, once you start speaking locally, you know, the word gets out. This Rotary Club hears about you, then a chamber wants to bring you in mm -hmm. because you're bringing value. Yeah. And that's the whole point of this. It's not about writing a book just to make more money. It's you are providing value to people. And that's worth something. It's worth the, the price of a book, of course, but it's also worth the opportunity to get in front of more people. And it is just uh, an easy way to, to do it. When someone does do teaching or speaking or gets in front of people, so many times you only have maybe 20 or 30 minutes right. to speak, even if you have an hour, if somebody really resonates with your message, they want more. They yes. want something they can take home with them. They want to know yeah. more. They want, and you want ways that you can follow up with them. Absolutely. I joke about that, that I say, you know, people want to take you home with them if they enjoyed what you say. And it's true. Think about if you've ever been to an event and you buy a book, it's because you liked what they said. And you may not even read the book, <laughs> but it, you still, you wanted something to take home to remember. So I always recommend it's not even just about one book. It's about taking that book and then getting it out electronically. And then maybe that same message through other media formats, you know, CDs, DVDs. So it's just the beginning of so much opportunity. I know you know the answer to this question, but tell us what you have put together and what you have to offer that makes it easy for people to get started writing a book. Well, I, I basically do what I did for myself, and that is uh, helping people to pull that story out. And so I ask a lot of questions, questions that may seem simple, but questions that uh, once you answer them and you get it on paper, it's literally like you're just constantly information is flowing out. And so one of the things we provide in the Bookbound Workshop is every single person leaves that workshop with their entire story, their entire book completely outlined. Not wow. just the chapters, though. We're talking sub-chapters, stories. What, what funny stories and anecdotes are you going to add in the, the book to make it your own? And it, it's a really exciting time. And it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Real quick, three things they'll walk away from the Bookbound uh, Workshop. Just three, three, list them off. 
Three quick things. Number one is you're going to know what your story is and how you can help other people. Number two, you're going to know exactly how to put it together so that you can get it in front of as many people as possible. And number three, you're going to figure out a way to monetize your investment. You know, it takes time, it takes resources to do a book. So how can you take that and grow that and really monetize that? That is awesome. Great. Folks, Monetize Your Mind is really giving you the tools to take your value proposition, your your story that changes lives and bring it to the marketplace. We'll be right back. You can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com. We're here with Monetize Your Mind. This is Pat Dewar. Bob Bear is the host, and Michelle Prince is our guest. We're talking about, well, getting you published. Bob? Michelle, the name of this show is Monetize Your Mind. So let's talk about something that people that avoid sometimes, and that's money. Mm -hmm. What can you do as an author with a book what can people do by coming to Bookbound, your, your two-day weekend training? What can they do to help monetize their mind, and how can that help them make money? Well, first thing is, you know, by having this story, you now have something to offer people, whether it's in your business, whether you're speaking from a stage. Uh, but we're also going to teach you ways to start monetizing it even before the book is written. There are a right. lot of different strategies and ways that you can get out there as a published author even before you hold the book mm -hmm. in your hand. And those things are, are exciting, um, but it's all about positioning and positioning yourself as an author and what that can do for you and your career. It's life-changing. It can be life-changing if you, if you follow the steps. Yeah, I, I found that when someone's working on a book and they have the title, just starting to use in their introduction, this is the author of the yes. forthcoming book. Exactly. It's so helpful. You know, and, and sometimes becoming an author is more about a mind shift than it is anything else. Mm -hmm. Believing that you have something to say. And some of the hardest words coming out of somebody's mouth is, I'm an author or I wrote a book. But once you get past that belief that you have something to say, then the whole world opens up. And when you introduce yourself, like you said, as I'm the author of the forthcoming book, whatever the name of it is, mm -hmm. it changes that person's per perception of you. Mm -hmm. And then it changes the way you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. So. One of the things, Bob, I don't mean to interrupt, but I know that in this Bookbound workshop mm -hmm. that you guys have worked out a special arrangement that isn't to the general public. It's just to those that would use your promo code, right? That's right. We, the workshop is nine ninety seven for the two days and with everything that we've been talking about. But for, for the viewers of Monetize Your Mind, we're, we're taking $300 off the registration. And you can do that by going to bookbound.morepower.com. But you want to use the promo co code MIND, M-I-N-D, to get that $300 off. And I, it's one of those things where we guarantee you will walk out of there with your story. But we also guarantee 100% satisfaction. So if you come and it's not what you thought and it's not what you desire to get out of it, then we will guarantee that. Um, so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain by becoming an author. And one of the things I've heard you talk about, Michelle, is that when someone becomes an author, there are more than one ways. There are multiple yes. streams of monetizing themselves by using that book. Do you teach that at we, Bookbound? Absolutely. Because it's more about the message, but you have to think about your audience. And not everyone learns the same way. Some people are great readers. Other people prefer listening to audio in their car. Others still love to watch video. And then there's others that like to have a one-on-one -on -one coach or maybe a seminar. So all of those different revenue streams is all based on the same message. So you want to make sure that you create all of that. But it starts with the message in the book, but so much more comes out of it. And then you're helping more people based on these different learning styles. I've been to a lot of workshops and seminars. Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine to say how much money I've spent on going to weekend seminars. My wife, fortunately, is very supportive of that. But a lot of times I've spent three or $4,000 for training. And sometimes 
Some of the weekends were kind of a disappointment, but I'd always look for one thing that would change mm -hmm. the way I do business, that would change my life. But the thing about Bookbound is that you have a lot more than just one thing. It's one thing after another mm -hmm. that can totally revolutionize the way a person thinks and, and lives their life. Absolutely, and you know, to think of it more of as, as an investment. You know, when you invest in yourself to, to continue your mind, to keep continuing to grow and learn, I mean, that's when opportunities come in. So, so no matter what you, what, where your money goes, if you think of it as an investment, it's going to change your life. But, but when you get this book out, more opportunities to get more revenue coming into your, your income stream, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's extremely possible. And as you and I both know, I mean, this is the world we're in now, and that's why we're so passionate that if we can do this, you can do this, and we want to show you how, step well, by step. A couple of times in my life, I have read a book that really changed my life. One of those books was called, Nothing Happens Until You Take Action. Mm -hmm. It motivated me to make a change that I really needed to do. Mm -hmm. And there are people that have a book in them that somebody needs that would change somebody's life. Mm -hmm. But the first thing they have to do to get that book out to help the people that are waiting for their message mm -hmm. is to take action. And to me, the action I would recommend they take is to, to go to the website and register and come to the next, the next time. You have these several times a year. We have them several times a year. And procrastination is something we all deal with. But you know what? We always regret what we procrastinate on because we usually procrastinate on the most important things. Mm -hmm. So you know if, if this is, you know, come, if there's a feeling you have inside that you may have a story, you know this is something you have to get done and, you know, don't wait for someday because someday may or may not come. But it's, it's so much more within your reach than you think. I believe that writing a book was like climbing a mountain. I thought it was going to be so difficult and so expensive and so out of my reach. And what I found in doing it is that it's absolutely possible. And that's what we want to encourage other people to do. So don't procrastinate, take some action. Yeah, you don't have to do it by yourself. You can get help. You can get help from experts like Michelle. Mm -hmm. I really encourage you guys to um, step in and go to the Bookbound uh, workshop. Just because I've known Michelle for a number of years and I'm so thankful for the work that she's doing. But to see this combination of Bob and Michelle and the offering they put together, by all means, go to the bookbound.com, excuse me, bookbound.morepower.com and register. Use that promo code, knock $300 off, because I'll tell you, people have spent, I've seen people spend far more than $600-ish to get their book out of them. This is Monetize Your Mind, and today we've really shown you a key to bringing you more money from what's between your ears. We'll see you all next time.